Hey everybody, just wanted to make a quick video. Want to talk about a couple things. I think I can do it in one video. What you're looking at here is the 18th dynasty of Egypt and the pharaohs and kind of a family tree of the whole 18th dynasty. This is just a part of it. Up here we have Tutmos IV, who I say is the biblical Moses and put his face on the Sphinx. I'll leave links below. Um, his son was Amenhotep III, who I have shown is the biblical Solomon. With Tutmos IV, I made a video where I compared their wives, um, Tutmos IV and Moses's, and they weren't similar stories. They were identical stories. Amenhotep III, I thought I'd do the same um, briefly. Now, the biblical Solomon, we know that he hooked up with the Queen of Sheba. That was pretty much uh, his most famous uh, wife, but uh, he had a son with her. He had, according to the Bible, Solomon had even hundreds of wives, but the Queen of Sheba he is most closely associated with. Amenhotep III's wife, her name was Taye, I believe is how you pronounce this, Taye maybe. But who was she? She was the Queen of Ethiopia slash Nubia. In other words, she was the Queen of Sheba. That is the exact same story again. So Amenhotep III was the biblical Solomon. And I think that really makes sense. Tutmos IV, the biblical Moses, is associated with the building of the Ark of the Covenant. And Solomon, Amenhotep III, is associated with building the temple that housed the Ark of the Covenant. So that progression makes sense. But I want to go down to Amenhotep III, the biblical Solomon's grandson, and that was Tutankhamun. And um, if we really want to look at what was going on back in ancient Egypt at this time in the 18th dynasty, one of the best places to look is in the tomb of King Tut because that was a pristine tomb, the only one found. So we actually opened it up uh, back in 1922. Howard Carter, I believe is his name, but he opened it up and this is actually the first time it had been seen since the 18th dynasty of Egypt. And what did he find in it? Well, he found an Ark of the Covenant. You know, the Ark of the Covenant has many meanings, but it is actually a real object simply because we have one, how it is described in the Bible, built here. So when you have a real one, that makes it a real object. And we have Anubis sitting on top of it. Now, Anubis, I believe, is the original Sphinx. When you uh, look at him sitting up here perched, and if you look at other depictions of him, I'll leave some links below, but that looks like the Sphinx. Um, in the pyramid text, it tells us that the giant Anubis is the Lord of Rastau, which is Giza, um, and guards the secrets, secrets at the head of the necropolis, and that can only mean the Sphinx guarding the Giza Plateau. So, but why do we have in Amenhotep III, his grandson's tomb, the Ark of the Covenant with Anubis sitting on top of it? Well, the ancient Egyptians actually tell us. And I am going to just read this here. This is an inscription made with Anubis sitting on top of the Ark of the Covenant. And I made a video about one of the meanings of the Ark of the Covenant. I associated it with a Bible verse, and this is entitled Ark of the Covenant and its Heavenly Origins, how the covenant was associated to the Orion Nebula, how I made that connection, and I will leave the link for that below. But what does it say about Anubis sitting on top of the Ark of the Covenant? Well, the ancient Egyptians tell us it means this. It says the hieroglyphs above Anubis correctly read, the gates of heaven, and the hieroglyphs around Anubis correctly read the box or coffin of Orion. So the 18th dynasty was a special time in Egypt. The Ark of the Covenant was a real object. Um, Moses and Solomon, the historical Tutmos IV and Amenhotep III were associated with the Ark of the Covenant. It was a special time, they knew special secrets, and the ancient Egyptians tell us one of them here. They relate Orion and heaven together with Anubis, the original Sphinx, sitting on top of the Ark of the Covenant. So, hope you thought that was interesting. Hope you followed along. You have a nice day.